Oh, hi guys. Welcome back to another episode of Houston Eat. My name is David Sriracha. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know we have a show called Houston Eat, but okay. Anyways, um, when it comes to Korean barbecue, Houston has plenty of them. We got Korean town, we got plenty of Korean restaurant in Chinatown, we got Korean food truck, we even got Korean restaurant in Pearland. But one thing I do have to say is that when you do go out and eat at a Korean place, um, most likely you will spend at least $50 to $60. Well, at least I do. And at some place, um, they don't give you enough meat, so you end up having to ask your server for some more panchan to get full. So if you don't know what panchan is, it's um, you know, those side dishes that you that come with your Korean barbecue. So this is panchan, 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 panchan. So I got good news. The other day when I came home from work, a friend texted me about this new all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue place in Houston. It's called Jin Korean Barbecue. And basically it's uh, $25.99 per person and it's a buffet style all you can eat Korean barbecue. Meaning that you don't have to bother your server if you want some more meat, you want some more panchan, you want some more soup. If you want anything, you can get up and get it yourself. So for $25.99, that's a great deal. So let's go check them out. I just want a rolly 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 with a dab of ranch. I already got some to We got here on Saturday around 5.40 p.m. and already it was a two hour wait. So make sure you sign in and get yourself one of these pager. Two hours later. These are some premium disposable chopstick. At the beginning of the video, I told you guys that you don't have to bother your server, but you actually have to if you want these premium items. All you have to do is turn on the light switch and your server will come to get your order. Let's go check out the place because I'm hungry! So they have three stations where you can go to get food. Let's see what they have. So at station one is where you can go to get your panchan item like your kimchi, your salad, and your soup. At station 2 is where you can get your cooked item like your beef bulgogi, japchi, and kimchi fried rice. At station 3 is where you can get your sauce and all of your meat to grill. Let's grab some of this item so we can start grilling. Let's grab some beef bulgogi, regular squid, beef intestine, spicy squid, spicy beef bulgogi, and more beef bulgogi. And don't forget your Korean hot sauce. If you want the salt and pepper with sesame oil sauce, you have to ask your server for the sesame oil. If you can't wait for your server, they usually keep them on the cart near your table. Let's throw some of this item on the grill and start cooking. There's a vent on top of your table so you don't have to worry about the smoke. The pineapple galbi steak was pretty good. You can't really go wrong with grilled shrimps. Beef tongue is thinly sliced so it doesn't take long to cook them. Let's see how these beef tongue taste like. Slightly dip it in the sauce. 
Oh yeah, that was good. The LA Garby short rib was so good we had to order a second order before we even finished the first order. If you haven't had these pork cheek, try them. They're like bacon, but better. Tender, juicy, and delicious. Let's go get some soup so I can show you guys the proper way to eat Korean barbecue. First, assemble your meat. Grab a piece of meat, dip it in some sauce, pop it in your mouth, eat a spoon of rice, eat some banchan, eat some salad, eat some pickled radish, grab another piece of meat, pop it in your mouth, and finish it off with a spoon of soup. And that is how you do it. For dessert, they have the sweet rice ginger punch. For the first sip, you're gonna make this face. But the more you drink it, the better it tastes. Overall rating was 8.9 out of 10. Everything was good and delicious.